people have asked me this question a lot because I mentioned a lot it I mentioned this thing way more in Guilty Gear compared to Dragon Ball which is uh what is attack levels so what is attack levels why does it matter what do you use it for in every Arxis game they have a system of assigning values to your attacks to basically make them feel like the attack the type of attack it is right so like a jab is always gonna have short block stun short hit stun because it's a jab right as opposed to like like a six heavy look how much impact the six heavy has right so look how much impact this has on counter hit. screen zooms in counter hit giant counter hit bumble clock counter hit right so these are generally determined by the attack level of the move I'm gonna bring this up. I have a handy dandy chart that I uh, I sniped from Dustloop. The Dustloop wiki has all the system info that you need when you're ready for it. When you're ready for it. So this is the uh, attack level chart. So moves that are attack level zero, uh, they're gonna be like your jabs. So for example, for Milia, so uh, things like Milia's CP, they're attack level zero. So. It's the least amount of block stun, also the least amount of hit stun. Very, very short, short, right? Attack level one moves are gonna be things like, you know, like Milius 5K is attack level one, for example. So a little bit more block stun to work with. Attack level two, off the top of my head, would be sweep. So again, you get a pinch more. They, as you can see too, they generally go up in like two, uh, two frames, but then eventually it goes up by like three. When you move from attack level two to attack level three, so Milius close slash is attack level three. And then attack level four, which would be Milia's five heavy and six heavy. Right? One thing you might have noticed too that's interesting is that when you faultless defense, it's more block stun. So I've mentioned this before. That's the trade-off of having the pushback, is that the person who's attacking has slightly more advantage, but they're just farther away. Uh, there are ways that you can take advantage of this if someone empties your moves, but you have to experiment with your own character to figure that out. Why do these numbers even mean anything to you? So this is how you determine, like let's say you're a new player, what the fuck do these numbers mean? This is a way that you can use to build frame traps, to build block strings to help you to rush down to your opponent. That's one of the things you can use it for. So for example, we have Soul here. Soul, for whatever reason, once upon a time, Soul had a, fi a 5k that was 3 frames. And then someone at Arxis was like, that shit is too fast, let's make it 5 frames. Soul players around the world complained about how for two decades he's had this 3 frame 5k and how dare they, right? So, when Strike came out, they had a meeting, they fired the motherfucker who made his 5k 5 frames, and it made it 3 frames again. So, and now he has it in this game, it's 2 hits, it's really easy to confirm. With that knowledge, it's a really, really, really fast button, right? So let's set his 5k here. And we don't want to get hit by his 5k because Soul is going to delete our life bar if he hits us, and we can only make one mistake because we have burst. So, we can use this knowledge we have here to make a frame trap. So for example, Milia, her close slash is attack level 3, right? So it has 16 frames block stun, normally. Her 6h is 17 frames, so that will leave a 1 frame gap. So in this example here, I'm going to do close slash, counter. Why did I get a counter? Because I did five, uh, sorry, I did close slash, which is 16 frame block stun, into a 17 frame move, one frame gap, no problem. What if I left a four frame gap though? What if I did close slash into hair car, for example? So hair car is 20 frames, so it's a four frame gap. What, what, what what's gonna happen now? Pain, right? Pain. Simple math, simple math. Not, nothing too complicated here. So you can use this to create strings that will keep you safe from opponent's options. My attack level 4, 18 frames, so what if I did Milia's 5 heavy into hair car, what happens? Okay. Why? Why? A little math, 5h, 18 frames, block stun, hair car, 20 frames, 2 frame gap, souls 5k, extremely fast, it is 3 frames, but it's not enough, we hit him. Right. That's reason number one why it's good to know this info. Now, reason number two why it's good to use this info, let's change characters to a situation we were actually talking about earlier on stream. You, you don't have to just use it offensively, you can also use it defensively as well. So, uh, an example would be, so Mei has attack level, uh, attack level 4 to H. So it has a ton of blocks on. So you see Mei's do like, to try to get you. 
So let's do a fast block swing. Like that. Once she does her 2 H, she basically only has special cancel options, right? So let's create a couple options. So this is S Dolphin. So because there's so much block stun, the Dolphin's like 7 frames. I have 18 frames of block stun. If I cancel it right away, if May cancels it right away, sorry, then she's still I'm still in block stun. Even if May delays, let me try to get it at a good timing. Even if she delays a little bit, you're still gonna be in block stun because there's so much. But her other dolphin, the H dolphin, is 25 frames. So there's a 7 frame gap if she goes for this. Uh, let's do it again. There you go. There's a 7 frame gap, right? So if I was to make a simple recording of just just two options, right? Just, just keeping it super, super, super bare bones. So super, super, super simple example. So if she does S dolphin, I'm going to block. And if she does H, I'm going to be able to jump because I'm taking advantage of the fact that there's so much block stun that I can't get hit. So in this case, I don't give May the plus 5 for H Dolphin. And if I block the S Dolphin, then she's minus 5 and I get to do stuff. Right? I just have to see which Dolphin she did and then make a choice. So you can use, uh, you can use the frame advantage that way as well, the attack levels that way as well. Any questions so far? Why does FD add blocks on? It's just something that they do. So it, it's a compromise. FD is supposed to be a compromise, right? So FD, there's like pretty significant pushback. Uh, I would say there's like, it feels like there's less pushback than Exert, but I would say that there's not as many ways to safely confirm the opponent's type of guard and strive compared to Exert. There, there are some ways in Exert because of the frame data and how stuff worked that if you, if you had an idea of how they were blocking or if the move duration was long enough, you could literally look at the opponent and be like, oh, they're instant blocking this. Or like, oh, they're faultless defensing this, so next time I do this. Where in um, Strive is not, the way the frame data is and the way the moves are, it's not as easy to see. Is there a way to see how big a Gatling gap or cancel window is per move with this? So, cancel window. Let's start with cancel windows. We can go backwards. Cancel windows. In this game, the cancel window is infinite. Basically, you could cancel forever. So, you, it's not about that. But you can see how big the tightest gap in a Gatling is using this info to help you out. Is there a good reason to know attack level? You have a good understanding of frame data? Yes, because you uh it's a really clear way of showing you how uh like like gaps in strings and stuff so from my own experimentation is another example right so take close slash again right so we have close slash in the 6h it's a one frame gap right 6h 17 frames uh close slash 16 frames blocks on if they fd um this is going to be airtight okay so this is see no gap she's trying to mash no gap no gap because of the additional block stun. Oh, with the additional block stun, you're, it, it's 18 frames. So my move is 17 frames. I would have to delay, right? Another thing that this gives you too is like, let's say people do this. You, you see, you guys see me do uh, let's do normal block too. Okay, you guys see me do strings like this quite a bit where I do like, right? Close slash, close slash, close slash is seven frames. It's minus uh, two, right? Minus two. Um, so the fastest close slash, close slash, which is assuming they're not faultless defensing is going to be like a nine frame gap. The dash adds even more, more of a gap. The minus two tells you this, but like uh, using the attack level, you could also like build out the situations backwards if you have to. Speaking of levels in the game is the counter hit system, right? The counter hit system, because the counter hit system is also based on levels. Normally it's based off of attack level, but it's not in this game actually. They just, it seems like, I'm not gonna say random, like they assign it to like everyone's suite, for example, um, usually every character has one jump in that gives you the medium counter hit. So one is the weak counter hit. This basically doesn't do anything, right? So the, the weak counter hit is like a Dragon Ball counter hit. Like, it's just the game telling you, oh, you got hit because you were fucking mashing. <laughs> You're mashing, that's why you got hit, okay? Then you have the medium counter hit. So the medium counter hit, uh, off the top of my head, I believe is 12 frames of extra slowdown. So this will give you things that you won't uh, be able to get otherwise. It also eats your input. So if I set this to like random, for example. Okay, see? So I got that. Depending on how you input this, uh, your input won't come out. Can you buffer fast enough? But you would get a confirm that you don't normally get. Because normally this will not combo, but it combos on the slowdown. 
Uh, the really big spot this comes up, this one comes up, is like, let's say, uh, let's, okay. So if I use, if I use a jump in that specifically has the medium counter in it, then I get a better combo, like, I mean, of course I could do that, but I get to, like, pull up, like, I, I could do a whole bombo. You can get stuff to combo that won't normally combo. The last one is going to be the heavy, the bombo clots. This is this is the meme. This is the meme counter hit. Uh, to my knowledge, it's 17 frames of uh, slowdown, so you have a lot to work with. Uh, you get all sorts of nasty combos off this. You know what I mean? You get all sorts of nasty combos. Uh, they basically put this on everyone's sweep. So depending on your character too, you might get combos you don't normally get type of thing. So definitely look into that. Now, it's not just confirms that you get, but sometimes uh, some situations might change because of the slowdown. So let me give you a quick example of that since we're on uh, May. There you go. Okay. So you, you, you notice, you notice like that combos, right? So she can create a frame trap where she can't normally because she has uh, she actually has extra frame advantage. Less that the counter hit carries the following move, and it's more that uh, the slowdown, like you're still in slowdown during the following move. So she gets to move earlier than normal because the opponent is slowed down.